Welcome to Choice Classic Radio. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and help keep this show alive by donating at choiceclassicradio.com. For more of your favorite old-time radio shows, join us on our companion podcast, Choice Classic Radio Detectives, where we bring to you tales from the greatest detective shows the golden age of radio had to offer. And now, with 91 surviving episodes broadcast on NBC Radio from 1934 to 1957, we bring to you Lights Out. Iron Eyes Yeast presents Lights Out. Everybody. Lights Out brings you stories of the supernatural and the supernormal, dramatizing the fantasies and the mysteries of the unknown. We tell you this frankly, so if you wish to avoid the excitement and tension of these imaginative plays, we urge you calmly but sincerely to turn off your radio now. This is Arch Obler. Some call it the root of all evil, and some call it the flower of all good. Ordinary people call it money. That's what our story is about tonight. Money. $3,000 worth. First, Frank Martin. Confidentially, folks, how do you feel these wartime evenings? Too jittery, run down, and tired for any fun? Then, quite possibly, you simply need more vitamin B and iron than you're getting from your food. If so, try ironized yeast tablets. They're the famous two-way tonic that gives you both vitamin B and iron. Thus, when you need them, ironized yeast helps two ways to step up your pep and strength and ambition. Helps you two ways to really enjoy living. And the cost? Just a few pennies a day. Friends, remember that name. It's ironized yeast tablets. And now, lights out. Everybody. Money, I tell you, Tony. That's what's wrong with the world today. Money. What are you talking about? Say, look, Tony. Ain't that the pretty boat? Oh, the devil with the boat. What do you say about money? Why, you said that money, what was, what was wrong with the world? The people get little money and then they want more of it. And then they get that and then they want more. And pretty soon, that's all they think about is money, money, money. Yeah. What do you think about? Money. So what are you talking about? Oh, you, you don't understand, you Tony. You don't understand yourself. All the time you talk, go away. Let me alone. No, no, Tony. Don't get so. I was only talking. And what you talk don't make no sense. Money is what's wrong with the world. You fool. You crazy in the head. No, I ain't crazy. All the time on the boat coming here to Frisco from New York, I'm thinking to myself, I'm thinking, Axel... For 13 years, you're a sailor, working all the time. And what you got? Nothing. So I say to myself, Axel, why can't it be that when a man works hard, he can have what he wants, no matter if he ain't got money or not? Now, you crazy fool, what do you talk about? It's a door what gets a guy what he wants. Sure, sure, that's the way things are now. But I tell you, it ain't right. A man who works hard with his hands can't have what he wants to have. Yeah. What do you want to have, eh? A farm, Tony. Hmm? A little farm. What do you say? Yeah, a little stock farm someplace. Some nice place like Wisconsin or maybe Minnesota. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I say something funny, maybe. <laughs> farm. By golly, that's funny. <laughs> no, it's not funny. For 13 years I work on the ship. I save my money for farm. I don't like the money. I just want a farm for my wife and my kids. And then... Yeah, uh, and no. Then the 31, that bank, she's a go bust, and you back away your start, eh, yeah? Axel? Uh, and I tell you, Tony, it ain't right. I work so hard. No, no, I tell you, you dumb squarehead. All this talk about kick the money out and give a man what he worked for. I tell you, that's a bunk. Yeah, but Tony... Money, money, that's what a man needs. 
All the money he can get is a mitts on. And then he's got the world right by the neck. But I work so hard. So what? It ain't work what make a man rich. It's a break. Yeah, a break. Me, I'm best deep water diver in the whole Pacific. So what? I never get a break, so I'm still eating slop and walking the ducks. Yeah, Tony, that's what I say. All right, Tom, then, Dave, move and on, move on. No bumming around the docks. Oh, yeah, yeah, officer. We go, we go. What's that? What's that you said? No, no, officer. He don't say nothing. This is Mr. Tony, officer. He's the best deep water diver in the whole Pacific. Yeah? Well, if he said what I think he did, he's going to do all of his diving in the can for about 30 days. Now get out of town or I'll run you in. I cut his heart out. Oh, no, 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 Tony, please, sir. Uh, come this way, we. Come on, Tony, in here. We'll get the cup of coffee. That cop was shoving me around. Uh, uh, come on in. I pay. Uh. Ah, nice and warm. Mr. Dump. What do you have, boy? Two cups of coffee. Maybe you like soup. I got nice hot soup. No, we just want coffee, please. And get a letter. Okay, okay. Two coffees come out. So, well, you want dough for us to get a farm, eh, Swanson? Yeah, my wife, uh, she... Who cares about your wife? <laughs> Fine. For 13 years, I worked... Okay, here you are, boys. Nice coffee. Here. Ten cents, please. Yeah. Mm. Coffee, she's good when you're cold, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that guy was winning. He don't drink coffee tonight, I bet you. Mm. What a guy. The guy was winning the sweeping stage. The sailor sweeping stage. You know, hear it? Ah, uh, Swenson, what is this guy blowing about? I'm telling you, the sale of sweeping stakes. Everybody's buying a ticket. $3,000 first prize, you betcha. It's in the papers he's winning. Oh, lucky guy. So, who cares? Give me some more coffee. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. Uh, wait a minute, mister. Yeah? Uh, uh, this fellow what won. Uh, you say his name is in the paper? Yeah, yeah, sure. Here. I got it here. Get my coffee, you... No, no. Uh, wait, Tony. I want to hear. Uh, read it, mister. Okay. It's a winner... First prize is uh, somebody who gave name of a farmer. What's the matter, you Swanson? I, I, Tony, quick. He said, hey, hey, that's my paper. <laughs> Tony, come on, quick, come on. Hey, you crazy squarehead, wait for me. Wait, wait, you crazy fool, you. What's the matter, where you go, huh? <laughs> Tony, Tony, listen, it's me, me. Me, what, what do you say? Farmer. That's the name I give the man when I buy the ticket. Huh? I'm rich, Tony. I can get the farm. You? You mean you? What he said in there? You? Yeah, yeah. Me, Tony. Me. I buy sweep take tickets long time ago. I win. <laughs> me. I win. Uh, you crazy. You crazy in the head. No, no. I tell you, I win. <laughs> Look. Huh? Farmer. That's me, Tony. Oh, my wife and my kids, they'd be so happy, so happy. No, 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 wait. It ain't right. I mean, look, at the, give me the number here. Ticket number 6933. You got that number? <laughs> I got it here. I got it, too. Here, let me see, huh? <laughs> no, no, please. 13 years. Well, I... What's the matter? You ain't going to hurry. I just want to see. Uh, look. Huh? 6933. Three. Just like it's in the paper. You. You did the win. Yeah, Tony, I win. Me, oh my, on three thousand dollars. Oh, we wait so long. Three thousand dollars. I quit the sea. I buy a farm. Oh, Tony, my Helga, my kids, and me, the happiest people in the whole world. Three thousand dollars. I buy the best farm in all Minnesota. Come on, Tony. I go get my money. No, 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 wait. Huh? Uh, don't go now. It's uh, it's a pretty late. Oh, uh, but my money. Oh, but they're going to be close. Yeah. Now, you come on. We'll go down on the dock and see what is the first boat. Oh, sure, sure. So right away tomorrow, quick, when you get to the door for that ticket, you catch a boat home to the wife and the kid. Huh? That'd be good, eh? Huh? Yeah, 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 Tony, yeah. And, oh, that policeman. I wish you'd meet him now, eh, Tony? Huh? What's the matter? Why you want cop, huh? Oh, I show him we ain't no bums anymore. Oh. $3,000 this ticket is what? I him in here, man, is no bum. Oh, you're right there. Oh, you bet your life he ain't. Ah, the water, she looks pussy. Yeah. She's a deep right here. Uh, me, I don't care how deep the water is, so long as I've been years a sailor, and I can't swim. Yeah, the water, she's so dark and pussy. Swenson. Yeah? Let me look at ticket. Uh, ticket? Sweepstakes. <laughs> I hear me. You think maybe she ain't good, Tony? Yeah. I know she's good. 
Right the way I hear that fellow say the farm, Marvin. I know that's me. Here, here, Tony, here it is. <laughs> see, it says farmer on it. That's me, see? Well, lean over just a little. I cannot quite see. Yeah, sure. You see numbers. It says six, nine. <laughs> Tony, Tony, you. Tony, you what? My knife will shut you up good, eh, Swenson? So, you kind of swim, eh, squarehead? Well, Tony is going to give you a first to last. There. Oh, Swenson, wait. You forget of the sweepstakes ticket. Hmm? Okay, I collect for you, farmer. Three thousand a dollar. Yeah. At last, Tony, she's going to get a break. Gentlemen, I know we're all interested in this story of money, but at the same time, I'm sure we're also interested in calming down long enough to make sure that the murder took place quite a distance away from us. While we're making sure of that, supposing we take this time out to consider something very real. Help me? Oh, there just isn't any help for the way I feel. I'm so thin and tired and jittery, I'm disgusted with life. And nothing I've tried has helped me. But, miss, have you tried ironized yeast? You see, you may simply need more vitamin B and iron. And they're just what ironized yeast gives you. Well, of course, I've heard about vitamin B and iron, but could they make all that difference? You bet they could, if you need them. Why, when you don't get enough vitamin B from your food, you may lose your appetite, not eat all you need. Or you may not get all of the good out of what you do eat. And when you don't get enough iron from your food, you may be weak and pale. You may feel only half alive. And you say ironized yeast supplies vitamin B and iron both? Yes, ma'am. What's more, it's ironized yeast, and it's two-way help. That's been of such amazing benefit to thousands who only needed more of these substances. Quickly help them gain glorious new pep and strength and pounds they needed. So, if you need more vitamin B and iron, get ironized yeast tablets right away. Start taking them tonight. And now, back to our lights out story of money, money, money. I'm a greater guy. Got plenty of dough and I know how to spend it, eh, boys? <laughs> Don't you worry about the bride. Tony, he's all right, eh? <laughs> you. Now, now, listen, you, you go home and let me go upstairs, eh? And maybe tomorrow night we'll go have some more fun, huh? Yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. <laughs> Tony's a great guy now, eh? Sure, sure, I'm a great guy. Everybody knows Tony's a great guy. Stairs. Tony, is that you? What's the matter? Are you waiting for somebody else? Oh, Tony, I've been waiting for you. Let me help you. Now, go away. I don't need no help, not oh, me. Tony, Tony, night after night. Go away. Take your hand over me. <laughs> Great guy, that's me. Spending all your money on three drunken fools. Now, shut up your mouth. Oh, careful. There uh, you go. I told you I don't need no help from nobody. Don't need to take what he wants. Shut the door. Yes. Now, come here and give a great guy a kiss. No. Come I... here, you. No, no. Wait, Tony, listen. Don't want to listen to nothing. But, Tony, the man... Man? Came... What man? The man that was here. He's been here a dozen times since midnight looking for you. Midnight? Who was he? What do you want? Well, he, he acted so funny. What? What do you mean, funny? Well, he, he he spoke so funny, as, as if... As if what? As if... as if his mouth was full of water. You! You try to make a joke with Tony, eh? No, 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 I'm not fooling. Really, I'm not. He, he said... He said something? Yes, that's what I'm trying to tell you. He said, tell him... Well, what? What did he say, eh? Well, I... I could hardly understand him. He, he talked so funny, but I think he said... Tell him... Tell him I was here, and then I think he said the farm. <gasps> No. The farmer? Yes, that was he. Oh, Tony. Tony, what's the matter? What? What he looked like? What's the matter, Tony? What he looked like? Well, he was tall and, and, and he looked like a sailor, and, and I think his clothes were wet. <gasps> well, Tony, that's him again. That's the way he knocked before. No. Oh, Tony, don't stand there staring at the door like that. You're scaring me. Don't do it. 
You are there, go away. You dead. What? Dead, you hear me, dead. I killed you six months ago today. Oh, oh, I throw you on the water a thousand miles from here, you dead. Oh, dead. Charlie, no. You scare my wife, but you don't scare me, you farmer. You, I kill no, you Charlie, again. No, no, don't you scare me. Once and you go at my door, I do you. Connie. Connie, I don't want to shoot you. I want to shoot him through the door. Connie, get up. Connie. Open up. Open up in there. Open up. Connie, I don't want to kill you. It was him, Connie. Him. Open up. Open up. Police officer. Open up in there. You. You, Swenson. You. You think you got me, eh? You think you got me in the hot seat, eh? No, no. Not me, Swenson. You swear. And you. You forget the fire escape. There's no me, Cap. You gotta help me. You gotta. Now take it easy, Tony. Take it easy. You. You wanna get me out, eh? So far out, there ain't a copper in the world can get you. Listen, at midnight tonight, my ship is pulling out to go down through the canal and over the coast of Ireland to go hunting for gold. Gold? You crazy. Watch your tongue. I said gold and gold it is. Only we're going under the sea for it. What? You heard me. Under the sea. A million dollars in gold in the hold of the Tanya. Sunk by a sub. The boys are going down there to dive for it. Die? Yeah. And if you decorate the mahogany in front of me with every cent you got in your pocket, you'll be on board my ship. Ah. <laughs> you hear that, Swenson? You diving for gold. A million dollars. And me, I'm going to be on board. Want to talk to me, Cap? Yeah, Tony, sit down. Ah, she's getting pretty rough, eh, Cap? Yeah, and that's what I want to talk to you about. Well, I'm a listening. While you were sleeping before, the rest of the divers had a meeting. Yeah? Yeah. They looked over the weather reports, and they decided they ain't going to do no more diving. Our white belly to Wait a here. minute, Cap. You mean we're going to turn back? What else can I do? Three months out here in the open sea, and when we finally do locate the wreck, every mother's son of them turns chicken on me. So what's the matter you want to talk to me? Because even if you are a no-good rat, you're the best diver of the lot. All right, keep talking. Tony, listen. Under that boy up the starboard is the Tanya, with a million dollars in gold bullion in it. So? Go down and get your hooks in it, and whatever you get, half of it's yours. Huh? You mean, you mean a half? Sure, you get half, and I'll split the other half of the crew. A million bucks. Yeah, a million bucks. And you'll have half of it. You can do it, Tony. You know you can. Yeah, but the sea, she's getting rougher. Ah, Tony, you've gone down in rougher water. Yeah, but that water, she's a cold half an hour, and I'm finished. Hey, at the room with the gold. Who knows where she is? Tony, listen. I know just where that gold is stored. You're not trying to fool me, eh? God is my judge. I'm telling you the truth. Jake located the room on his last dive yesterday. He told only me about it. So? Don't you see, Tony? Chance of a lifetime. I got enough coal for one more day out here. To turn back, we'll never locate that wreck again with the sea running as she is. Half a million dollars in gold for you, Tony, right under your feet. Don't be a fool, man. Take a chance to go down and try to get it. Well, will you do it? Uh, get away from him. Him? Who are you talking about? Who's talking to you? Well, what are you sitting there for? Get me a rig. Get the pumps going. Ready, Tony? Yeah. Give me the headset. Hey, yeah. Uh... Well, what are you standing there for? The helmet. Give me the helmet. Okay, okay. Cap. Yeah? What's the matter, you? I told you to keep the deck clear. Only the men I want. The rest, get below or I don't All die. Right, Tony. You men get below. Every white-bellied one of you. Come on. All right. Hold up the helmet, but I want to try out the phone. Hello? 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 Well, answer me. Okay, Tony. I hear you. Okay. Yeah, all right. The valve. Okay, I'm ready. Put the helmet on me. Okay. Well, hurry up, you mugs. Get them bolts tight. You think I got all day? What's that, Tony? Okay, okay. Put me over the side and watch that pump where I come up and cut your heart out. Half a million dollars, half a million dollars, me, water, coal, down, down, half a million dollars. All right, Tony. Sure, sure, I'm all right, let me alone. Okay. 
down, down, water hard. It came to me, Tony, best driver, 50-50, half a million, half a million. Listen up there. I'm on the bottom, you hear me? Tony, listen. Captain says hurry up. Squall coming up. Tell the captain if he's taking me up before I give signal, I'll cut his heart out. Johnny... Shut up and let me alone. Me, Tony, half a million. Captain says Gordon was inside door A back. Half a million. Huh. Oh, the door, the captain said. <laughs> me and the cop, 50-50. What did he say, Art? He says to leave him alone. He don't want to talk to nobody. That's no good rat. I was a fool sending him down. He's in the bottom, all right. But what's he doing? Has he found the gold? Has he found the strong room? How long is he going to stay down? Talk to him, Art. Captain said it'll be right over. Santa Lucia, the gold. Roma full of gold. I'm rich. All the money in the world. Me, Tony, a rich, a rich. Yeah, all the money you want, eh, Tony? Huh? Oh, who's the talking? Answer me, who's the talking? Mr. Sure, Tony, anything wrong? You up there, I told you I don't want to talk. What's the matter you don't listen to me? What do you mean, all the money I want? What do you say that for, huh? I didn't say that, Tony. I was standing by. Standing by, I'll wait till I get up there. I show you standing by. Wait till I get the headset connection with my teeth. I'll fix it so you don't bother me no more. No, no, wait, Tony, the captain said that. So, no. Talk a little one, you south face me. I won't hear you. Me, I'll be alone with my boy. No, no, Tony. Not so long. You up there, stop talking to me. Stop, you hear? Stop. I'm down here, yeah. Tony. With you. Huh? Who? Who said that? I broke the connection. Nobody can talk to me. Nobody, you hear? Nobody can talk to me. I will talk uh, to you, Tony. Uh, so much to talk to you. Oh, I can't my head. That's what it is in my head. Yeah. Not in yeah. your head. Yeah. Look. Look straight ahead. Uh, what are you talking about? Swenson. You know me, Tony. And me in the water almost a year. Oh, no, no, no. no. Close to the window in your helmet. Oh. You don't like what you see, oh. eh, Tony? My wife, my children, they no. wouldn't like it either. Would they? Oh, no. Oh, don't be in a hurry, Tony. We got plenty time. No, no. Plenty. I worked for 13 oh, years. Oh, you remember, Tony? 13 oh, years for farm. Oh, now I don't work oh, no oh, more. Oh, I oh, just oh, wait for you. You. Oh, my hair. My hair. You take away my wife. My kids. My life. Now I take a little air. Eh, Tony? Just a little air. Now I take off your helmet and come in with you, Tony. No, no. My friend, I come in. No, no. Don't come in, Swenson. Go away. Go away. Go away. Is he getting there? Yeah, sure, plenty. Everything's okay. Talk to him. Talk to him. He don't answer, just yelling. Signal on the light light. He's signaling us, Captain. Because everything's okay. Wants to be taken up. He's yelling. He's still yelling. Call him in. Quick. How about the compression? No, no, no. He's going to fight that. We put him in the tank and we get him up here. Something must be wrong. He's yelling bloody murder through the phone and signaling okay on the light line. Hurry up, you men. Get him up. Quick. Call him in. Here he comes. Oh, he's not there. It's not him. It's something else on his line. Captain, look. His airline. It's been chewed through. By teeth. But, but what is it? What's tied to the lifeline where he was? It's Mother in Heaven. It's a bar of gold. Sober, all I can say is, huh. 
<laughs> I suppose it's quite fitting to gulp after a story about the sea, Frank. But before you start asking me if the story is a true one, I'd like to tell you with some excitement about next week's play because it's really the most exciting story. But first, you have your say, Frank Martin. Let me remind you, friend, if you're unattractively thin and jittery, tired and run down, unable to eat and sleep as you should, and if it's only because you're short on vitamin B and iron, then try ironized yeast tablets. They've helped thousands with these deficiencies. They cost but a few pennies a day. And what's more, you don't risk even those few pennies. For ironized yeast is sold on this money-back basis. If you don't quickly begin to eat and sleep better, to gain new pounds to feel much stronger and peppier, the cost of the first bottle will be refunded to you in full by ironized yeast, box IY, Rawway, New Jersey. Now, what about all the excitement next week, Miss Dobler? Well, for that excitement, Frank, we've got news for our friends about the red, white, and blue. I don't mean old glory. I'm talking about those all-important red, white, and blue racing stamps. Well, I'm sure all the folks are well acquainted with the white and blue stamps by now, Mr. Obler, so let's concentrate on the red stamps that went into action yesterday. These are the stamps you use when you buy any of the newly rationed foods. Meat, cheese, butter, oils, and shortening. And here's how your red stamps work. Yesterday, March 29th, the red A stamps became valid. A total of 16 points per person for this week. Yes, but this is very important, Frank, to all of us who like to eat regularly. You don't have to use all of those stamps this week. Your red A stamps are good right all up to the end of April. Yes, and that holds true for the B stamps that become valid next Monday, April 5th. Also the C stamps that you can start using Monday, April 12th. And the red B stamps effective April 19th. But at the end of April, all the red A, B, C, and D stamps expire. And only the red E stamps will be good. And remember, you can use these points any way you like. You can spend them all on meat. So you can concentrate on meat and butter. In the American way, it's up to you. But don't forget, all forms of meat are now rationed. So is canned fish and fish products. But fresh or frozen or smoked fish and fish not in sealed containers are not rationed. Neither is poultry and game. And in the cheese line, cottage cheese, cream cheese, camembert, liederkranz, and several other varieties are not rationed. And whereas all kinds of fats and oils Butter, margarine, lard, shortening, and cooking and salad oils are rations. Salad dressing, mayonnaise, and pure olive oil are not rations. And now that we've covered the salient points about the new red ration stamps, what about next week's story, Miss Robler? Well, have you ever thought what would happen if motion pictures could come to life? That is to say, supposing you were watching Hedy Lamar or Bob Taylor, as the case may be, and suddenly they came to life right in your own living room. Mm. You want to know how to do that? <laughs> Well, listen in next week. Yes, tune in next Tuesday again for our Tobler's eerie story, Super Feature. And if you need more vitamin B and iron, be sure to try Ironized Yeast, the one and only Ironized Yeast, with the big letters IY on the package and on each tablet. It is later than you. That concludes today's episode. We'd like to thank you and remind you to donate at choiceclassicradio.com. Remember, your donations make episodes like this possible.